They are the most powerful warships ever built, nuclear-fueled giants capable of launching 80-plus aircraft, striking any target on Earth, and controlling entire oceans. These 11 U.S. Navy aircraft carriers aren't just ships, they're unmatched symbols of dominance. Stay with us as we count down to the most unstoppable force at sea. At number 11, we have the U.S. George Washington, one of America's mighty Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. She was commissioned on July 4, 1992, and is currently based at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. The ship can carry about 80 aircraft and moves at speeds over 30 knots, which is more than 35 miles per hour. She measures 1,092 feet in length and weighs about 104,200 long tons. George Washington was the first U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to be forward deployed to Japan in 2008, boosting American presence in the Indo-Pacific region. She played a key role in humanitarian relief after the massive 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan. Right now, she's undergoing a complete refueling and overhaul to keep her mission ready for decades to come. This ship is armed with NATO Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and filling CIWS for self-defense. Along with her aircraft, she can defend, strike, and respond anywhere at sea. At number 10 is the U.S. John C. Stennis, a powerful Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. Commissioned on December 9, 1995, she is currently homeported at Naval Base Kitsap in Bremerton, Washington. The ship carries about 80 aircraft, cruises at over 30 knots, and measures 1,092 feet long. Her displacement is around 103,300 long tons. Named after Senator John C. Stennis, a strong supporter of the U.S. Navy, she has participated in major missions like Operations Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. She has launched combat air missions, supported ground forces, and projected U.S. strength worldwide. Currently, the ship is undergoing a refueling and complex overhaul to upgrade her nuclear systems for decades of future service. Armed with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and felling Sea Agudas, she's built for both offense and defense. Once complete, she'll return as a fully modernized frontline force. At number 9 is the U.S. Carl Vinson, a highly respected Nimitz-class aircraft carrier with a long active history. Commissioned on March 13, 1982, she operates from Naval Air Station North Island in San Diego, California. This massive ship carries about 80 aircraft, travels at over 30 knots, and stretches 1,092 feet. Her displacement is roughly 102,000 long tons. Carl Vinson played a key role in Operation Inherent Resolve and other global missions. In 2011, she made headlines as the carrier from which Osama bin Laden's body was buried at sea. In 2021, she became the first U.S. carrier to deploy with the F-35 Sea Lightning AI stealth jet. She's armed with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and filling CIWS for layered defense. With modern upgrades and a powerful air wing, Carl Vinson remains a key asset in America's naval strength. At number 8 is the U.S. Harry S. Truman, a frontline Nimitz-class carrier named after America's 33rd president. Commissioned on July 25, 1998, she is home ported at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. The ship carries about 90 aircraft, sails at over 30 knots, and stretches 1,092 feet long. Her displacement is roughly 103,900 long tons, making her one of the heaviest in her class. Truman has played a key role in the fight against terrorism, launching air operations in both Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Inherent Resolve. She has patrolled critical zones in the Mediterranean and Middle East, supporting strikes and coalition defense. The ship is armed with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and felling CIWS for protection against airborne threats. Her recent missions have focused on deterrence in unstable areas. With a strong air wing and advanced systems, Truman remains a core pillar of America's naval strike force. At number 7 is the U.S. Abraham Lincoln, one of the most battle-tested Nimitz-class carriers in the U.S. Navy. She was commissioned on November 11, 1989, and is based at Naval Air Station North Island in San Diego, California. This massive ship carries around 90 aircraft, travels at over 30 knots, and stretches 1,092 feet long. Her displacement is about 104,000, 300 long tons. Lincoln has played key roles in major U.S. operations, including Desert Storm and Iraqi Freedom, providing vital air support. In 2021, she made history as the first carrier to deploy with the F-35 Sea Lightning I stealth fighter. 
She also led humanitarian efforts after the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, delivering critical aid. The ship is armed with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and felling CI Gales for layered defense. With decades of service and advanced strike capabilities, Abraham Lincoln remains a trusted pillar of U.S. naval power. Rank 6 is the U.S. George H. O. Bush, the final and most advanced of the Nimitz-class carriers. She was commissioned on January 10, 2009, and is home ported at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. The ship carries about 90 aircraft, sails over 30 knots, and measures 1,092 feet long. Her displacement is roughly 100,000 long tons. Bush was built with key upgrades, including improved aircraft handling systems, advanced radar, and a reduced radar profile. She has supported missions like Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Inherent Resolve in the Middle East. In 2022 and 2023, she deployed to Europe and the Middle East, reinforcing American presence amid rising tensions. Armed with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles and felling Siagas, she's built for multi-layered defense. With next-gen systems and proven combat readiness, the George H. Goebbush stands among the Navy's most capable and modern warships. And number five is the U.S. Theodore Roosevelt, a proven Nimitz-class aircraft carrier with decades of frontline action. She was commissioned on October 25, 1986, and is based at Naval Base San Diego, California. The ship carries about 90 aircraft, cruises at over 30 knots, and measures 1,092 feet in length. Her displacement totals approximately 104,000. 600 long tons. Roosevelt has participated in major missions, including Operation Desert Storm and Enduring Freedom, showing her strong forward presence. She completed a full refueling and complex overhaul in 2013, extending her service life. Today, she operates with Carrier Air Wing 11. Armed with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and Phalanx CIDAS, she's ready for layered air defense. Roosevelt continues to project American naval strength across key global regions, especially the Indo-Pacific. With upgraded systems and a strong track record, she remains one of the fleet's most dependable carriers. At number four is the U.S. Ronald Reagan, a forward-deployed Nimitz-class aircraft carrier with unmatched regional influence. Commissioned on July 12, 2003, she is home ported at Yokosuka Naval Base in Japan, making her the only U.S. carrier permanently stationed overseas. She carries approximately 90 aircraft, travels at speeds over 30 knots, and measures 1,092 feet long. Her displacement is around 101,400 long tons. Ronald Reagan plays a key role in Indo-Pacific deterrence and rapid response, leading Carrier Strike Group 5 in the region. She regularly participates in joint drills with allies, responding to rising tensions near China and North Korea. The ship is fitted with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and filling CI Vales for air defense. Her presence helps maintain balance and security in one of the world's most contested waters. Regan's forward posture and constant readiness make her a critical tool in America's naval strategy. Holding the third spot is the U.S. Dwight D. Eisenhower, a veteran Nimitz-class aircraft carrier with one of the longest and most active service records in the fleet. She was commissioned on October 18, 1977 and is based at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. The carrier supports around 90 aircraft, can reach speeds over 30 knots, and spans 1,092 feet in length. Her displacement is roughly 104,600 long tons. Eisenhower has been at the center of major military operations, including Desert Storm, Enduring Freedom, and multiple missions in Afghanistan and Syria. Recently, she deployed to support U.S. and NATO operations in Europe, showcasing her continued relevance after more than four decades of service. The ship is outfitted with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and filling CIDLS for close-in defense. With proven combat history and updated systems, Eisenhower remains a reliable workhorse in America's global force projection. At number two is the U.S. Nimitz, the lead ship of her class and the longest-serving aircraft carrier in the world. She was commissioned on May 3, 1975, and is currently home ported at Naval Base Kitsap in Bremerton, Washington. This legendary carrier supports approximately 90 aircraft, reaches speeds over 30 knots, and measures 1,092 feet in length. Her displacement is around 100,000 long tons. Over nearly five decades of service, Nimitz has taken part in nearly every major U.S. naval conflict, including Desert Storm, Enduring Freedom, and Inherent Resolve. 
she continues to deploy in key strategic areas, proving her durability and operational importance even after all these years. The ship is equipped with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and Felling CI Gavs to defend against aerial threats. With unmatched service history and consistent performance, the U.S. Nimitz remains one of the most respected and reliable warships in U.S. naval history. Taking the top spot is the U.S. Jurolar Ford, the most advanced and powerful aircraft carrier ever built. Commissioned on July 22, 2017, she is based at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. Unlike her predecessors, Ford is packed with next-generation technology. She carries around 75 aircraft, travels at speeds over 30 knots, and stretches 1,106 feet in length. Her displacement is approximately 100,000 long tons. As the lead ship of the new Ford class, she features the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System EMNLS, advanced arresting gear, and upgraded radar systems. These innovations allow her to launch more aircraft with fewer crew and greater efficiency. Gerald R. Ford completed her first full deployment in 2022 and led Carrier Strike Group 12 in major NATO and Mediterranean operations during 2023 to 2024. Armed with Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, and felling CIDLS, she's designed to dominate the battle space. With unmatched technology and global reach, the Gerald R. Ford sets the new standard for U.S. naval power. These 11 aircraft carriers are the ultimate proof of America's dominance at sea, massive, relentless, and always ready for action. Subscribe for more powerful military breakdowns, like the video, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and let us know your favorite carrier in the comments.